good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you come back tomorrow. We are headed out of town this weekend, and so the next two days are gonna be pretty productive. They gotta be. Um, James had a really great therapy session this morning. We really love his early steps friend who comes in once a week. Um, it's been really great so far, so that's good. Teddy's taking a nap. Just like keeping it positive so that the weight of what we have to accomplish in two days doesn't take over. Bluey helps. Arts and crafts help. <laughs> and Evie girl always helps too. Another Mother's Day flower bouquet appreciation shot. Some, some were on their way out, but we, we kept some, put them in this space. These are almost two weeks old. All right, I got the boys with me. We're running some errands. We had to run the UPS. Now we're at Publix getting some last minute snacks for us and for our friends who are watching Eve. Um, if I would have seen this section the other day, it would have made my life easier. So we grab one of these chicken tender things and fruit plates and charcuterie trios for the, for the boat instead of cutting all that. What? We're gonna get cookies for the kids and some brownie bites and then we're basically done. Fun thing about Publix is they give out a free cookie to kids that come in. So grabbing our last two things, we need applesauce pouches and some ice cream for Chelsea and Chris and then we're out of here. Living in parenthood in Florida is buying a nice big golf umbrella, getting off to the car, letting James stand or sit in the stroller holding it while I get Teddy in the car getting soaked on and then bringing him around the corner and then getting him in the car getting soaked on. But we made it guys. It is a downpour out. Woo. All right, we're home. Sarah had this delicious meal ready. We're also eating this cashew jalapeno popper dip. It's also delicious. Ready? Look, we have a, a TV in our room on for the first time ever, with about time. Also, our room is the most clean and organized it's been since Still we moved in. Yeah, I won't go that way, but like, it's... Barely. Well, I think we've shown this. Yeah. This is the closet. Previously, this is like the last of the stuff we have to hang. That's just been like living here, which is why this TV hasn't been centered. It's been like living in this space right here. Um, but we have friends coming to watch Eve. And we want them to be able to like move in if they want to for the week or stay in any of their rooms or anything. So um, we're just trying to get the rooms all like as functional as possible, which really all of them are, except for ours just had a little bit of that storage thing that we wanted to get into the closet. Um, feels really good. So tomorrow is going to be the big day of cleaning, organizing, packing. We have to run like two more errands tomorrow. I have to get a key of, the, of our homemade. And Evie has a vet appointment, just like normal, whatever, what do you call it? Routine stuff going on, so. <laughs> Good to be Peter's home. doing this to manifest bedtime. I am. <laughs> it's good to be home. Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Oh, this is the middle of a two part, but that's all right. Um, so I've been meaning to tell this story because Ted Lasso has been, you know, running our lives. And I 
it's like actually not even that big of a deal, but I have always thought it was really cool that this had happened. So I've been wanting to tell this story to the vlog, but I keep forgetting. So I remember this morning, I was like, I'm gonna pick up the camera. Um, so during an internship I had in college, I worked at a monogram boutique in Chicago, right off of Southport. Actually, we've gone there a ton since we lived in that neck of the woods. Um, and it was monogram boutique. And I didn't do any of the actual monogramming. I did like, Ooh, I did a lot of the social media like graphics and posting and Pinterest and like that sort of stuff. But then I also did hours just working in the boutique itself. So like, um, I don't know, like inventory and like packing up orders and just like working the register and that sort of thing. So if you didn't know, Jason Sudeikis has spent a lot of time in Chicago. Um, and also, at the time, he was having a child with Olivia Wilde. Um, and I know that she filmed a movie in Chicago, Drinking Buddies, which we've watched in the past. But anyways, I don't even really know the timing with that. All I know is that at this period of time when they had their son, Otis, they were in Chicago. And even if it, it might have been for a visit, I don't know. But anyways, the monogram boutique I was working at somebody or I it might have even been them placed an order for a monogrammed blanket for their son Otis and again I didn't do the monogramming but once it was done like off of the embroiderer I like cleaned it up and made like sure all the threads were nice and clean packaged it up all nicely and like put it in a bag tissue paper and just like all the stuff that the monogram boutique like did to present like their packaging and so I got to like present Otis's blanket and like the way that Jason Sudeikis and Olivia would have received it for their kid and so again I don't remember all the details of like who ordered it and how all we knew was that it was for them and I felt very proud to make it look very pretty to hand off so I always just I don't know, I always like liked that, you know, two degrees of separation I had from him, even when I wasn't like necessarily a fan of his back in the day. Like I didn't really know as much of what he was in, but I always just, I always just thought that was a cool story. Isn't my Jason Sudeikis story cool? Of when I got to make his baby. Oh, I didn't make the blanket. I explained how I was involved. You were just a lonely little intern. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That was like such a random job, and that was such a fun occurrence. Yeah, and that place isn't there anymore. I know, but I still have access to like post on their Facebook. Oh. Like when it pops up, it's like Sarah on Facebook. It's like Sarah Brookhart, the Brookhart Project, and then the, the name shop. of the bond yeah. It's cool. Alrighty, Peter is officially done with work. Ooh, I've got my quick dumpling soup a cooking veggie egg rolls in the oven and I did a little cheat for the salad so I chopped up a, cu a cucumber and instead of using this entire Asian chopped like salad kit I just used like half of it so it's mostly cucumber nice and fresh little salad and then we gotta get to packing all right I'm running some errands I'm gonna get Eve some chicken to have while we're gone and then I gotta stop at the uh, pet store as well. Alright, we're getting some keys made. Look, I got a new backpack. So, our last minute Amazon order came through and we are bringing both of our car seats with us because we're renting a car in Chicago and we're actually bringing our big Nuna exec car seat, James's, and the Nuna Pippa. Um, look at these bags. They're super cool and they worked out great. And we did not spend $300 on the Nuna brand travel bag and said we got a $35 one on Amazon and it looks great. It's got a backpack feature. <laughs> Things are looking good. So here that's James's Nuna exec seat and this is the Nuna Pippa in a different brand. So that's really nice. That's really heavy because it's got the built-in base. This is built so it can go into a car without a base. So it's lighter and then this has a backpack feature. Um, so really pumped. I got to put that back in the car tonight. I just want to make sure it fit in the bag since we're leaving in the morning. We were so quick to not show you much of our room yesterday, but here it is. We have some artwork in the corner and I am about to get packing. We are like full on making this place ready for um, our friends who are staying there to be here. So Benning is in the wash 
and I'm gonna get us packed. Both boys are asleep. Is it today? Your dad. Mm hmm. His favorite cinnamon roll. Usually, if we live here, we would like go to Magic Kingdom, but this is what we're doing in his honor today. Yep. You should have made the, the pull part bread that he loved that you would make. Oh, I haven't made that in a long time. Oh. All right. Proper. It wouldn't be Brookhart's going on a trip in the morning if it wasn't a ridiculous time. 1.30, Sarah and I just decided that we um, game planned the morning. And by morning, we mean uh, getting up at 5 a.m. So in <laughs> three and a half hours. So we're gonna get up at five. And as long as, fingers crossed, the kids stay asleep, between five and six, we're gonna They're finish. usually late risers. We're gonna finish getting the place ready because we have to like, clean out the car still and do some sweeping. Um, and last minute, shoving stuff in bags. Yeah. And then six to seven, get ourselves ready in the car driving to MCO at seven. Yes, but it's nice we're parking there. We have like that TSA clear family thing room. We're all packed otherwise. Yep. So it's good to be home. It's good to be home. See you in Chicago. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>